Breaking news, Saints fans. Jason Pierre-Paul is planning on signing with the New Orleans Saints. Now, we teased that we were going to talk about this on tomorrow's video, but it already happened, so we're going to talk about it today. And this is coming in from Josina Anderson. She broke the news on X, formerly known as Twitter, saying exactly what we said. Breaking. Jason Pierre-Paul just told me he's planning to sign with the Saints. Now, I do believe when Josina Anderson puts this kind of stuff out because she is really in discussion with a lot of these players. She doesn't have these you know, empty sources. She's not just chattering, spreading out fake nonsense. She is you know, pretty legit when it comes to talking to these players. So, you know, JPP, he's a saint now. So you got to love that. But, guys, this is why you subscribe, and I just want to say thank you to the Houdat Nation for helping us cross over 23,000 subs. We are currently at 23,325. Our goal on today's video is 30. Our end of the season goal, 30K. We can get there with your help, so subscribe today. And like I said, we put out a lot of content. We put out a lot of videos. And earlier today, I put out this one. If you see it on the channel, click on it, check it out. I promise you, you will be entertained. It's also a very informative video as well with some injury news and some just my takes on the team and what I think about Dennis Allen. You couldn't tell. I think he's a clown. So let's get to know Jason Pierre-Paul, the newest member of the Saints defense. So he previously has spent stints with the New York Giants, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, F those guys, and the Baltimore Ravens most recently. So he is a three-time Pro Bowler in 2011, 2012, and 2020, and he is also a two-time Super Bowl champion. Now, Jason Pierre-Paul is one of those guys who's very, you know, experienced. It's called how it is. He isn't one of those guys who's going to come in and make a ton of noise on the defensive line. He is an experienced veteran, and that's exactly what he is. Nothing more, nothing less. But in the last four seasons, the numbers have been dipping. And so Jason Pierre-Paul, his He's just like, he's not what he used to be. You know, in, in, in 2022 with the Baltimore Ravens, he had 25 tackles, five for a loss, three sacks, no forced fumbles. But in 2021, he had 31, two and a half sacks. In 2020, nine and a half sacks. 2019, eight and a half sacks. And in total, this guy has had 94 and a half sacks in his career. So Jason Pierre-Paul is one of those guys that, you know, could help out a very uh, lackluster pass rush. And I will say this. New Orleans needs pass rush help badly. And here are just some stats to go through. So the opponent pass play percentage, 57.35%. They're number 18 in the NFL. So opponents are running pass plays on you over 50% of the time. Passes per game, it's over 33 passes, almost 34 passes per game. That's number 17. So you're getting a lot of passes thrown your way. It's pretty average in terms of what the NFL has. Um, but you are number nine overall in 199.1 opponent passing yards per game. You're giving up damn near 200 passing yards per game to guys like Josh Dobbs, Tyson Bagent, Jordan Love. Come on. Are you, are you kidding me? You know, there's also guys like Gardner Minshew, Trevor Lawrence, C.J. Stroud. Like, it, they, you've played some really bad quarterbacks. You've played some de decent quarterbacks, and you've played some quarterbacks that are pretty damn good. The sack percentage is where it really pisses me the F off. 5.07%. Number 28 in the NFL. And in total, you have 18 sacks, which is tied for 28. Now, I got a lot more I got to talk about, and I have a lot more thoughts on Jason Pierre-Paul and how his impact, or what his impact will be with the New Orleans Saints. But today's show would not be possible without price picks. So shout out to the number one daily fantasy sports app in, app in North America. That is... Price picks. Go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use promo code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. So if you don't know how to play price picks, you just pick more or less on a numerical projected stat. So for tonight on Monday Night Football, these are the projections that I went with. It more than passing, rushing, receiving touchdowns for Stephon Diggs. I just need one. I really feel like Diggs is going to get me one touchdown. And Javante Williams. 55 and a half rushing yards. I'm taking the more on that. I have this saying here, life's too short to project the less. So let's always go with the more. And here's just more reasons why I love price picks. Like I said, it's daily fantasy sports made easy. It's the largest DFS app in North America. You get specials and discounts every single day. There's all sorts of fun promos and all sorts of crazy flash deals that they have. And then you can get it up to a $100 deposit match using our code CLNS. 
You can combine NBA, NFL picks, NHL, college sports, all sorts of sports, eSports. You can literally put in projections on anything. So go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use promo code CLNS for that first deposit match up to $100. Prize picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Thank you, prize picks. And those links will be available in the comment section and description of this video. All right, here's an updated look at your depth chart for the New Orleans Saints. Cameron Jordan, the Iron Man, the aging vet. He's great. He's just getting older. Carl Granderson, he's holding it down, leading the Saints in sacks on the opposite side. Colin Saunders, Nathan Shepard, your interior defensive lineman. But where it gets shaken up is on the defensive end. Jason Pierre-Paul will be behind Tano Passigno, and he'll also be in rotation with Isaiah Foskey, Kyle Phillips, and the other defensive ends. But I will say this, I there is no designation whether it's a practice squad at the time of this filming. So I could imagine he's going to go to the practice squad, get elevated to the active roster. But here are the sack leaders on, in, for the New Orleans Saints. You know what's really disappointing? When a linebacker is number two in sacks for your team. Carl Granderson, five and a half is not bad. It, it really isn't. But the next best thing on the defensive front, in the front four, is Cameron Jordan at two and Nathan Shepard at two. Shout out Brian Brzee for getting a half, one and a half sacks. But you're telling me you have guys like Malcolm Roach, Colin Saunders, and Kyle Phillips. I get and granted, Isaiah Foskey hasn't gotten many snaps defensively, and he's hurt now. Um, but you have guys like Marcus May and Alante Taylor who are getting more sacks than your defensive linemen. What the hell? It's just unbelievable. But I will say this: credit to JPP, and I will, and, and I can kind of say that this move makes sense. I don't necessarily love the addition. There is guys like Carlos Dunlap and. Dominican Sue and Robert Quinn out there. We joked in the chat sports uh, bullpen about Chandler Jones because that would be hilarious, but God, no, don't even think about that. Um, Jason Pierre-Paul, he adds veteran depth. Uh, he, he's a guy who's played a lot of snaps in this league. He's played a lot of football, and I will say this. I think that he can make an impact. I don't think he's going to take anything away. I don't think he's going to hurt this, th this team. I think he can only help. Quite honestly, Saints need all the help they can get. I know you're on top of the division, so Maybe this is just a little bit of a push to help with that pass rush, help you know teach these younger guys, teach, give some more talent, give some more experience to the defensive line. But let me know, Saints fans, what's your one-word reaction to the roster news? Mine? I'll give it to you in just a second, but I want you to share your thoughts in the comment section. For me, my one-word reaction? Fine. It's like, eh. All right, cool, I guess. Like, like I said, I don't think he's going to hurt the team. It can only help. So, like, if that's what you think is going to help this team win more games, fine. If that's what you think that this is going to make this defense more in, or more consistent, fine. Because this defense is wildly inconsistent. Inconsistent, excuse me. This defense needs all the help they can get. The DBs are fine. Like, sure, they are doing just fine. But the lack of pass rush, the lack of pressures, the lack of quarterback hits is really where things get frustrating for me. So I think that adding another aging player, sure, he's a veteran. Sure, it's nice to have that experience. Sure, it's a really fun name. It's a really flashy, exciting, like once at one point in time, great name. But I think that's just what it is, is a name. It, it, it's like another adding, adding another aging player to the mix. I mean, look at all these players who are 30 years old or more. And this list doesn't include a rookie punter in Lou Headley, who, by the way, I was – very excited to have around on the team when he was signed as a UDFA. I was very, I think he's kind of a cool dude. The character's cool, but he's not doing that great at punting. I love Lou Headley. I just wish he could do doing a little bit better. And Zach Wood, your long snapper, also over 30 years old. So you have 12 players on your team who are 30 years old or more. And a lot of those players are making a lot of money. And a lot of those players are have big time roles. And a lot of those players have big time impact and are playing key positions so this team is just getting older and that isn't where they need to be going they need to be getting younger they need to be addressing needs in the draft better they need to be hitting on their draft picks they need to be smarter the decision making across the board not just in the coaching but in the front office as well needs to be better this team has to get younger so I'm not disappointed in the signing I don't hate the signing it's just like I don't think it's going to make that much noise I don't think it's going to make that much of an impact but I'm also uh, going to share some more thoughts on Twitter later, so give me a follow 
on X, actually. It's X now. Shout out Elon Musk for changing the name of that. Give me a follow at Trace Gerard 48. Link is in the comment section description of this video. If you made it to the end, just hit the sub button. You cl we clearly are doing something right. So hit that sub button. Lock us in. Go watch our other video from earlier today. It's absolutely crushing. Y'all stay golden. We'll see you tomorrow.